Welcome to this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com where we try to take a look at a feature or a tip or something in Photoshop in about 30 seconds. It usually goes a bit longer than that though. But here we go. Today we're going to look at the patch tool. The patch tool is located beneath the spot and regular healing brush tools in Photoshop. Note the hotkey, the letter J. So there we go. We're going to grab the patch tool. And the patch tool is a selection tool primarily. Well, it begins as a selection tool, I should say. So let me grab it again. Let's just make a little selection here around this motorcyclist and his shadow. There we go. We've made a selection. Now note first before we do anything, you have your normal selection tool options. So like if we need to make this selection bigger, we can just hold down the shift key and make the selection bigger. Or if, whoa, we made it too big, hold down the alt or option key. And let's get rid of some of that selection, right? Just like that. Um, and you also have just those options as icons in the top control bar. You can choose a normal or content aware patch. We're going to stick with normal for now. But the big thing we're going to mess with is source and destination. So source basically means you're taking what you have within the patch and you're going to get rid of it. So when we drag this, we're going to drag it over to another just blank area of road and it's going to copy the color and texture and it's going to get rid of the bike altogether. You see that? Um, maybe a better example would be drag and drop this on this diagonal line. You can see it's copying that texture and everything right there. So you want to obviously move your selection to somewhere that has similar texture. That way, boom, you have a nice seamless patch job. This is great for removing acne, major blemishes on somebody's face. It's very quick, very easy. Draw a selection around it. Boom, it's done. There are a lot of retouchers that love the patch tool for that. Something else you can do, however, is here with destination. Destination is cool because you're not getting rid of the object. Rather, you are duplicating the object. See this? We can put bikers all over the road, and it sort of takes and blends the edges in uh, as you go. So there we go. Just like that, we've created, you know, what, six or eight of these bikers right here. So that's the patch tool in a nutshell. It's a really great tool for doing all kinds of things in Photoshop. It's amazing for getting rid of blemishes in photos, getting rid of something like an entire person standing on the sidewalk maybe that you don't want there. Maybe you want to duplicate the foliage here and really make their, you know, make tons of trees and bushes and whatnot along the side of the road. Whatever. The patch tool is great. It's really, really powerful, um, and there's a lot of things you can do with it. I urge you to jump in and play around with it. There are some little finesse things you'll see when you get near edge. You do have a little bit of blurring, but you'll learn to work with all of that the more you work with the patch tool itself. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds and Tutfid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.